So let's click on Paladins and see how it runs from the external SSD. Boom, there we go. Menu or load screen has popped up instantly, which is nice. And I don't think we should notice much difference from this actually being on the hard drive at all. This is not an enhanced game, so it should run pretty good. You see I've not been on it forever. So there's a save frame. Login is Murray, that's me. Tempting login. Do 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 accept. Do, 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 do. Loading profile. Skip tutorial. There we go. We're in a game. Uh, Europe. Uh, let me do a team deathmatch. Oh, okay. Join queue. Yeah. Oh, what? It's like we're just like Halloween skins have got on. Yeah. So let's see. Oh, and we're getting into a game already. Team deathmatch. Team deathmatch. Choose right. your champion. Choose my champion. Man, there's so many since I was last year. I don't know who to go. Uh, oh no, oh no, I don't know. We'll go Ruckus. Because I'm pretty sure he had a cool mech. So let's do that. Press and hold. Boom. Customize your champion. Yeah. Uh, customize? My goodness, I have no idea what to do. Let's just stick with the default. Yeah. Here we go, let's see how a game runs off the external SSD on Xbox Series S. And remember, if you want to pick up this external SSD I'm using, I will leave a link down below in the description for you all. Check it out on my Amazon store. Pick it up, it's pretty good, Western Digital. It's a nice, really, really small one actually, so that's good. It's not like a big bulky box that's going to take up loads of, loads of room, especially since the Series S is so small itself. Here we go. Team Deathmatch, Trade District. Eliminate all enemy players. Okay, let's go. Oh, and we're in. And there we go. Running nice. So far. Let's go. No idea what the map is in this one. I've not played this game in about a year. Go. Right. Ooh, nice little boost. Oh, I do remember this one. Any other cool wins here? Whoa! Come on. Yes! Oh, we killed someone. And we got an achievement for it. Nice! Not like this. Not like this. Oh, they're okay. Oh, the rockets as well, what the heck? Oh yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here! Yeah. Whoa. Oh, got a little bit of a killing spree here. Oh no! He just got wiped out by Maeve! What? Oh, grenade. Stay away from that. Got me some people. Enemy killing spree. Enemy double kill. Whoa. Oh no, get out of here! Oh crap, get out, get out, get out, get out! Right, so you can see installing non-enhanced games on external hard drive just runs perfectly and you can have a lot of fun and get a lot more storage on your Series S for a much, much cheaper price than buying the official expandable storage but then again, you need to buy that if you want to play enhanced games whoa but if you're just gonna be playing a whole bunch of game pass games maybe some indie games some back catalogue games this is the way to do it I'd recommend oh man smoked smoked yeah come on oh another one fight to dust Oh yeah! 
absolute destruction. Get out of my game. Killing spree. Oh yeah. This is so much fun. Also this game is free to play if you've never played it. Download it from the shop and jump on in. A lot of fun. Basically like a free overwatch. Yeah. Oh yes. Victorious. And another achievement. Untouched. Oh yeah. When a match with the enemy team scored no points. What? That's got to be a glitch. But I'll take it. No points. Did they just quit the game or something? I don't know. Protector. Yeah. There we go. Loving it. Very, very cool. So hopefully you enjoyed that quick video. That is how games run on external storage on the Xbox Series S. Remember, these are not enhanced games. If you have any questions down below about external storage and Xbox Series S, please let me know down below in the comments. I'll try and answer them or make a video for your faces. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one, my friends.